get into uh, the next part. I'm so excited. I think we left off with... I have to go get my brother or go talk to him or some shit. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> Missions. Oh, I actually have other things I can do. Best to get the safe room. Ah, I can't do those two things. I have to give her time. And that one we tried and failed at. So yeah, let's go find Dylan. Containment sector. I wonder if this Welcome back. Do I have a wife and kids? No kids. How about yourself? Logistics. This is pretty direct where I've got to go. motherfucker and another motherfucker. How about that? The game's name is Control. <clears throat> hey there, Lily. Thanks for lurking. I appreciate you popping in. God, that creepy ass fucking chanting. Security logistics. Loot? Loot, loot, loot. Oh, I've been here. Okay. I have been here. I could have just teleported here. That's fine.
can't believe I still don't have clearance to some of this shit. Ooh, more loot. trying doors even though I know I don't have clearance level 6. Oh, good.
with what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Oh, His damn. Found him. Are you there with him? Can you protect him? All right, calling it now. Dylan, Dylan breached his cell and caused the hiss breach. That's that's what happened. That's what happened. What's up, Fluffy? Thank you for that lurk. I appreciate you. How old am I? <laughs> I'm I'm upwards of thirty. <laughs> Let's see. It's twenty-four, so. I'm 35. Yeah. When you have to do fucking math to figure out exact age. But yeah, calling it right now. My brother's the one who caused all this shit. correct their age. No, I don't mind it. <laughs> oh, hey, this is where we came in. Hell yeah. Now we got this nice little shortcut. Oh, yeah. Rule of three. Whoa. So my brother? That's not good. That's not a good sign. Well, this is upside down. Okay. Rule of three. Two. Let's go see how that's different. Right side up. screaming and the blood coming out of that one door. Yep. I didn't see shit. Fire breach. It's been a long time since Dylan We're and I knew breach. each other. I've wondered about him. What kind of man he'd grow up to be. Were things as hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here, they were even harder. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right, uh, well, okay, hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon Supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden. Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. 
He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there, and it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV, it's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so, uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. Numerous cell breaches on every... Is the TV back in its box yet? There's no rush or anything, it's just, you know, an ongoing concern. Do you like working at the FBC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh, close to them, in a way. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal here. How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them... Did he say singing? Flipping the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives. Knife rain. Nice metaphor. Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Not that I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no-smoking policy? It does. Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent, because my uncle knew a guy. From there I got put on a desk, until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point I got bumped up to management. Put in a steady eight hours a day for another ten years, and voila! Supervisor. I just picked up a gun. Or a gun picked me. I'll see you right. later, Langston. I'll the be characters here. working like for the Bureau are fascinating. <laughs> Object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Nice to have a checkpoint. Mm. Gamer senses tingling. Yep. That's validating as fuck right there.
levels in this game. So much love went into their design. And they use lighting so well. <clears throat> okay. Some more of these residence field things. Keeping these things tame. Cool. It was established world building, and I like its use here. Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? Whoa, whoa, <laughs> be cool, be cool. <laughs> I can't pull out my weapon. Can't have guns on the elevator, I guess. Why can't I do it right now? After Dylan has been found. Got it. Things must be done in their proper order, I guess. Two of them with one. That was pretty cool. Right? I like that. That's the object of power. I need to clear. Good. I'm getting eaten by the Twilight Zone TV. I'm 
getting feelings of media from American gods. Oh, that's cool. Again, that amazing use of light. You guys can play. Nope, that's ass. the lore I just picked up would have explained it in advance. Let's levitate, hell yeah.
Just got Don't levitated. The now I can find Dylan. And it it feels real good. Yeah, I definitely spoiled that surprise for me by looking at the controls early. But it helped me identify a, a point that I couldn't traverse yet because I didn't have that, rather than beating my head at it over and over, which I otherwise would have done. the better sniper and I lost but he's dead well that was bad favorite character. Oh, the uh the guy who runs the Panopticon? Yeah, he is he he's fun. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Dylan yet. I'll be back for you once I do.
coming up this chaos was really cool because it kept spawning the floating things out there <clears throat> and brought them in close for like jump scares. It was a good lead into the level. <clears throat> yeah, I talked to the guy by the fridge. I've got to come back to help him after I find Dylan. are gone. I miss my desk. I did the thing he wanted. I took care of the TV. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. Okay. I've gotta go to level five. Oh, the Alex Casey thing is an Alan Wake Easter egg? That's cool. <clears throat> I like the subtle weaving in of uh, their other game universes. Dylan. So close. Nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. I have to see my brother. I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Dylan is point of origin for the hiss. Alright, I won't take up too much. 
your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, her sister. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean, back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? When I first got here, sure. I'd always hope she'd come too. To find me, to take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come too, to the Bureau. If she wanted to. But she never did. Why do you think that is? <laughs> because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. Because she got you want. Great. So, she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here. You know that. Any particular they were cities, looking for me. towns, landmarks, anything like that? Yep. They were looking for me. I don't remember. What about family and friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of ordinary? I'm done with this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Dylan, wait. We're not... End of session. with Emily, huh? for that. That has been fun so far. large enemies and large objects. And then we're going to work on our uh, our Superman our Superman thing. <clears throat> good to have. What are you? Energy recovery speed. That might be nice too. Or I 
can just add an additional 31 to my fucking health. Health pickup. Okay. I've stopped having issues with that, so we're gonna try this. There we go. <laughs> I think Chelsea is singing to the cats. It's adorable. Cause of death, mold ingestion. Because that shit makes you want to eat it. It's no bueno. Um. <clears throat> it's just a TV that can float and lets you float. these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems... More in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warden cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hetz, and Stone Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. The Beers and Wings plan. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck. And I really don't want guys to get them. Could you find him for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for that. What's in the pouches, I wonder? And I won't let them stay his. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, 
fuck, don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. <sighs> fucking lab coats, man. Love making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, I, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, now he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? You're security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most Rangers, they retired due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends the Rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down to maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. Lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. A little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall was kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. All right, back to work. And up the stairs. Apparently, the director restored HRA production. They're already getting other supplies. What do you know about this? Uh, guy? Uh, I heard the ranger say he saved me. no one's brother anymore. I heard that shit. Okay, this goes to the hot one. I'm going to 
views. I am in Central Executive. Did you hear that the his present they captured is the director? Oh. Well, I think I found him. Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push your fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this to be true. Can you stop that? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orangefield! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trunch took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And she didn't help when they locked me up for years. It took a long time for a pause. We build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it, and they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. When your worm is a tune, you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. 
Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the keycard to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. Okay. So I'm gonna call that a uh, a win win for my uh, my prediction I don't know what on else where the like hiss here. came from. Dylan. I'll see if he's got any other lore tidbits to give. <clears throat> I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are a warm through time. The thunder's key distorts you. Happiness comes. It still has a red... It still has a red arrow on it, so I think I can just keep engaging Maybe and get still in there. new information. Maybe there's We're gonna keep to doing this. I'd like <clears> to talk <throat> to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here, so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail. And there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way. Forever and ever. It was nice. Really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted. And none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game. And it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. What and the fuck? it shifted again. Or, or maybe it was another dream already. So self-aware. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. So, and so. <laughs> and that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. Oh man, more red triangle. Maybe I can learn more about the hiss from him. Can we oh, I talk? love this character. And whoever they got to do the the performance did a really had good an job. Dream. Oh shit. More dreams? That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Ugh. That's I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison. This house. I'd set it free. 
and the president himself was there to welcome us, he was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying, that he was horrifying. But also, many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay, thanks for sharing that. For the record, that will never happen. Not as long as I'm alive. Maybe I'm just here to punish myself. Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? <laughs> I'm glad you asked, sister. This dream, like all dreams now, felt very real. Like reality. And reality now feels like a dream. Maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real. Dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams. I was in a dark place, and there was a dark man there. His name was Mr. Door, and he told me that there are many worlds, side by side, on top of each other, the camera works some so cool. inside of others. In one world, there was a writer who wrote a story about a cop. In another world, the cop was real. Dor said he himself was in all of them at the same time, <clears throat> endlessly shifting between them. I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. But he didn't want to help me. He didn't like the idea. What did he know? I'm not wild about the idea myself. Does this Here ever end? Again. Once more with feeling. Once more with feeling. Let me guess. You want to tell me about your dream? Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm having a dream right now. Oh. That's new. In this dream, I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse and Dylan talk about this very dream. This very dream! He said just now! And repeated it again now. I'm standing there and watching, and that's all I can do. It's as if I'm trapped there. And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay, Dylan. That's good. That was just a touch disconcerting. I really is liked it. Is he still in there? Or is this the hiss playing mind games? I don't know. All right, that's it. That was cool. All right. Oh, he's going to be soon. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places. Like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? The Bureau had been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. No one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. 
checkups, as Alan Bill calls them. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. But to think of it, the song should have brought it back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in a token and enjoy the ride. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Go get some of this. Let's see if she has anything to say now that I've talked to... Uh, yep, she does. Oh, hold up. We got Lore just laying around. <clears throat> How are you doing, Jesse? It can't be easy seeing Dylan like this. I'm fine. What can you tell me? Is he still... human? Or is he his? <laughs> Who I just leaves the Lord laying around, samples. honestly? I have tests running as we speak, but from the initial data, he looks healthy. I only see corruption in a superficial way. What does that mean? I don't know. This is all new. But if he's like you, maybe Polaris is preventing total his takeover. Or maybe this is just a new form of his. We've already seen how it affects people in different ways. Dylan told me he let the his in. Does that change anything? Voluntary conversion? I mean, hypothetically, that could affect the mental state post-corruption, as well as the extent of biological alteration. Again, this is new territory for me. I I'll need time. You won't have it. I'm gonna shut down the slide projector. That's how the hits are getting in. Once I close it, this should all be over. Jesse, we don't know how this works. If you sever their connection to the source, it could cause a terminal chain reaction. Every his corrupted individual, dead. Better that than what villain is now. Damn. I'm shutting it Lateral down. decision. Okay. This has to end. I mean, I Whatever guess... happens... Happens. He's been dead to me for most of my life. Okay. Just let me know how Damn. I can help. Thank you, How is? Cold as ice. Looks like I can. What are you? No. <clears throat> Do one of these other missions. 